banner of the cross high on the field of battle. This is, come on, you come here to get equipped to fight the devil. Are you have with me? And listen, and your promotion comes where God placed you. Oh, come up in the hall. I'm trying to help somebody up here. Your promotion doesn't come from the north, east, south, and west, as Psalm 75 tells, but it comes from the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. What God calls us one look. Let me tell y'all something. I've seen. You look. It's very, very important for us to be what God ordained for us to be. Now, and I'm being straight up honest with you now. I'm not the type of person that tries to hold a person. Obviously, I ain't gonna do it. I don't care who that. I didn't even do that with my own mother. Just being straight up honest. I didn't know, and, I, and I will not do that for nobody on this planet. My, my job is to make sure that you're prepared for what God's got for you. And not deceived by what looks right. Amen. Because the Bible says there's a way that looks right. But the end thereof is destruction. Well, look, where you've been called to, 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 to be is what, is what God has authorized you to be trained so that you will know exactly how to deal with all the stuff that you got to deal with. But at the same time, you don't have to look, hold nothing against nobody else because, look, you know exactly what God is doing for you. If you don't know what God is doing for you and through you and by you, then guess what? Then you're, 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 being, you're being pushed around. The Bible says you're being tossed by every wind and doctrine. Mm -hmm. But if you know, regardless of what, I can, look, I can go to any ministry, you see what I'm saying, and look, and still, look, I says, and still feel good. Why? Because I know who's inside of me. And there are times when God will allow me to go places, and I don't mind going when he tells me to go. Why? Because I know that then he's going to use somebody or something to what? To impart. Or you have women. And that's what I love. I appreciate that. But I'm not going to allow prophets, apostles, Nobody with no kind of title to look what to what to have more rule over me than what God's word has settled in me. If look, if God's word hasn't settled in me, then guess what? I'm still unstable in all my ways. I'm trying to help us out here today. What I must be settled by God's word, and I've got to get to the place that I appreciate what God has planted. Because the whole thing about growing is look, is learning how to absorb and to embrace where you are. Um, Y'all have what I'm saying? If we don't get look, if look, if we don't appreciate that, then what God really has, because look, God is giving us to do some supernatural things, some things above what's natural to us. And I've got to make sure that I'm hearing what God is saying. You so and I'm not bucking against what God's program has des been designed for my life. I've got to look, baby, look. Everybody couldn't do what Isaiah did. God told Isaiah to go around for about three years with no clothes on. You try to do that now, see don't they lock you up? What was it, 1-800, lock you up? <laughs> They're going to come real quick. You'll see how fast the law can get to you. But during that time, God allowed Isaiah to do that because he was trying to prove to the people how God saw his people. So God used the life of the prophet are y'all happy with you know what I'm saying? To, to model and to display how God saw them. They were naked before him. They were not coming. To, they had more confidence in idols. They had more confidence in the approval of people than they did God. And God said, I'm, 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 not, I'm not in that. I'm not in that. Y'all happy with you know what I'm saying? I'm not in that. God, no. Tell me what God said. God said, I'm not in that. I want, look, look, watch this. God loves us personally in this place here. I want you to hear what I'm saying here today. God loves us how? Personally. And God is personally doing some great things in our lives. Now when you see some stuff, I'm going to let you know. Brother Urquhart don't mind letting you know when God told me to say your season, I don't mind, I don't mind telling folks. I don't care if they're paying $100,000 or something. God, I'm being straight up and honest with you now. You think I'm lying, you, you just go check back on my records. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't told, I'm not going to try to hold nobody against their will. But I want you to know, while you're here, you need to be getting something. And what the enemy will do, if you're not careful, he will try to keep you so frustrated until you can't even hear what God wants you to hear while you're here. Amen. And, and guess what happens then? You, you're going to find yourself going around in life in a pattern, in a circle. 
the same, look, whatever you don't pass or whatever we don't master on one level, guess what? We're going to have to keep going around and around, prove that the children of Israel. Three weeks journey, 40 years to get there. Amen. 40 stands for what? Trials and tribulations. Probation. God has all of us on his probation scale. Promotion comes from here, but he knows when we're ready for it. So if I've been found faithful over the little few things that God gives me to do, then guess what? He'll bless me to be rulers over much. But until I learn how to be faithful over the few things, much is not much is not available for me. Because he will not allow us to put more on us than what? Than we can handle. Amen. Y'all have hear what I'm saying here today? So God watches to see how we handle the little stuff. We don't handle the little stuff, right? We ain't ready for no promotion. You follow what I'm saying? Are you happy to get anything I'm saying? Amen. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking today, but I'm talking as an instructor. Because that's what fathers do. Fathers instruct. Y'all have what I'm saying? Come on, he provides instruction. Didn't, didn't, didn't your father do that? Come on, think about this now. Didn't your earth, earth, if, you know, with, with all that he had within him, he, he, and that's what he does now. He can't tell you what to do. God the Father only instructs, he, he shares his will, but it's up to us and to embrace it and to go with it. A lot of folks are going to miss God because they're not willing to yield themselves to what God is making real. Amen. Being honest with you. If you're not, then you're just going to have to go and, and look. And sometimes we go a long way around to get back to where the reality of it was. God said, all the while, this has really been here for you. But, but you, because, like the man said, you don't want to go through life trying to do it your way. I, I'm being honest. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm afraid to try to do things my way. Y'all have me hear me? And I'm going to say something straight up to y'all. I want you to hear what I'm saying. I love y'all. But it ain't because you're tired. I want you to hear that. Amen. I don't love y'all because you're tired. Make it real, I love y'all because I know God has placed you here to look, to undergird what God is doing. Amen. Amen. If you decide you ain't going to tire, that's fine. But I know that still I've got to do what God wants me to do. And that is to release what he's placed inside of me to us freely. Amen. Because God freed, no, no, when we say God freely gave it, it don't mean that it didn't come without a price. Because everything you get from God comes with a, with a price. And everything, look, and everything that you hold, that you receive from God, is going to come with a test. And a trial. And a tribulation. Why? Amen. Because God's going to prove to you that his word can keep you against that day. Uh, I know I'm, I'm talking right. You follow what I'm saying? So don't look. Don't look. Don't just get caught up in that. The folks say, well, I got a good word. That's right. They're giving you a good word. But that, with that good word, with that prophetic word, it's going to come a whole lot of disorder to try to order you out of the order that God called that word to perfect in your life. Amen. Everything is about the perfection of God. I'm good. And God uses his word to perfect this. Am I happy right, brother? And if, look, and if I look, and God is looking for a perfect vessel, when I mean a perfect, I mean a mature vessel, amen, you see what I'm saying, for that word to, to what? To grab it, to uh, um, cultivate. Yeah, or, that's the word I'm looking for, to germinate. He's looking, look, come on, he's looking for some fertile ground around here. He Look, uh, look God is tired of sending his word to, look, on, look, sending his word out as powerful as it is, and it's landing on, look, uncultivated soil. Uh -huh. Because I'm upset with, what you know, the way God's doing it. Baby, come on, let's get this get real. It ain't about us, it's about what God wants to do in us. And wherever it is, if it's at a brook, then so be it. If it's at a lake, then so be it. If it's in a classroom, then so be it. If, my, if it's on the street, then so wherever it is, he's giving it to me, I've got to, like Jake said, I've got to get, keep my, 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 Microphone on so that I can hear what God really is trying to accomplish through my life. God is doing so many great things, y'all, and he's trying to get us to the place that we can walk in this stuff. I'm, I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm, I'm being honest. I'm tired of hearing about it. I, look, I, look I, want to, I want to 